Good morning. Good evening. Communication. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's almost um, bedtime for some people. Okay, but listen, Corey. Yeah. I feel like a new man today. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you showered. Well, yeah. Freshened up. First time this Put week. Put on a new shirt. But no, that's not why. Okay. I just, I'm just basking in uh, the glory mm-hmm. of winning. Yeah. You yesterday. got your first win. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, it felt so good. I would have loved it if you were on that oh. one leg and right as your mom was picking up the bell, <laughs> that would have been awesome. Uh, but sometimes technology is hard. My mom was trying to answer that phone, just pushing that Well, sometimes technology is hard. It happens. All right, so we are May... May 15th. 15th. Yep. Which is a special day. Yeah. It's Friday. Well, more I mean, than people that. look forward to Friday. TGIF yeah. and Monday, TGIM. Mm. Um, but let's see, uh, May Ooh. 15th, there's some special things that have happened on yeah. May 15th. Yeah, some pretty cool stuff. Such um, as? Such as, so, Mickey Mouse, everybody knows who Mickey Mouse is. It's kind of what got Walt Disney started. Yeah. And I imagine you could probably find uh, Mickey Mouse on Disney Plus, which I imagine a lot of our people are watching, but that's not where I'm going with this. It's the first day that Mickey Mouse aired. Oh. I don't know what May year 15th? it was. Yeah, but it was May 15th. That's cool. And do you know what it was called that he aired in? Yes, it was a cartoon called Plain Crazy. Nice. P-L-A-N-E. Oh, uh, cool. Mickey Mouse today, yep. May 15th. It's also International Day of Families. Oh, So it's a good cool. day to celebrate that. Get your family together. That is good. We could celebrate that every day, though. Well, but May, I mean, maybe international. I that, mean, yeah, that's a true. That's true. Bigger. Okay, so uh, it's National Chocolate Chip Day. Ooh. Mm-hmm. We definitely need to celebrate that. Um, what we could do is we could celebrate this chocolate chip yeah. and celebrate the birthday of one of Ooh. our staff members. Happy birthday, Camille Langley, May 15th. <laughs> that's my. That's my air thing that I don't have. No. So I was just making a noise. That was. Hey, but you know, before you start, oh, birthday party, National Pizza Day is today. We can do pizza and That's right, chocolate yeah. chips, not on the pizza, but in some cookies Ooh. or something like that, and celebrate I, Camille's birthday. I don't know, you might be onto something. Put some chocolate chips on pizza and just do it all in one dessert and pizza at the same time. Uh, it depends on what kind of pizza it is. Maybe. Either way, that's a good day. Chocolate chip pizza, birthday party, and Oh, but there's something big. Did I say chocolate chip pizza? I did. Chocolate chip pizza is pretty good, I think. Um, May 15, you remember we're talking about the termination. Do you remember oh, what happened? Oh, yes, yes. This is a good one. This mm-hmm. is probably the favorite fact about today that, that we have here. I like it a lot. Okay. Um, so we remember the determination is deciding to finish what it's, we started. It's worth it. Yeah, yeah, it's worth it. So there's a girl. Her name is Jessica Watson. Mm-hmm. And at 16 years old. 16, okay. Got her license, maybe. Yeah. A little drive. She became the first girl to sail around the world unassisted, meaning by herself, in a sailboat. She sailed, she sailed, sailed around the world. So she's the youngest person. Yes. And she did this on May 15th. That's showing determination. I think it's a great yeah. example of that. And man, there are so many things that you could do if you showed some determination, if you put your mind to it, if you decided it's worth it to finish what you started. Andrew, um, let's see, kids could sail around the world. Yeah, you could. Um, make sure you get your parents' permission. Uh, you could memorize a scripture oh, yeah. and send it in. We got some motions You, yeah, to go along with it. Could read some books. Like one of my favorite series that I started, uh-huh. um, and it's several books, but the Chronicles of Narnia. Those are some like, big books. Starting and finishing, catching that whole story. Oh, so good. I heard actually uh, that Tyler Klotfelter, the guy that's been doing a lot of these jokes, uh, he read a million pages and he, he finished what he started. I bet he's still going. A million pages? A million. 
pages. Corey, I am 33, and I don't know that I've read a million pages. Tyler, that's awesome. Yeah, he's he shows some great determination. All right, so today Smart kid. we're continuing with this determination talk. We have a lot planned for you. We want you to go get your Bible, open it up. Today's Bible story is going to be a good one. Let's check it out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Acts, chapters 3 and 4. John found himself nearly skipping as he and Peter made their way up toward the temple. More than 3,000. More than 3,000 people are following Jesus now. I've never seen anything like it. The way people are sharing their homes, their food. Every day a few more people believe. This tell the whole world gig is going more smoothly than I expected. As Peter and John approached the temple gate, they saw a man lying on a mat. Please help me. We'll call the man Ezra. For his entire life, he'd been unable to walk a single step. Could I have a few coins for food? Peter and John looked directly at the man. Peter could feel the power of God's spirit rising inside him. Look at us. Ezra fixed his gaze at the disciples and held out his hand. I don't have silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. Peter reached out and took Ezra's hand. Instantly, his feet became strong. He leapt to his feet. Wait. What? How? He took a step, a skip, a hop, and a jump. Praise Jesus! Ezra began to dance and spin around. This guy couldn't even walk 10 minutes ago. And as you might guess, a big crowd gathered. Peter called out loudly. Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? It's not as if we've made this man walk by our own power or godliness. God has done this. God has brought glory to Jesus who serves him. This man, whom you see and know, was made strong because of faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus has healed him completely. Wowzers! So turn away from your sins and turn to God. Then your sins will be wiped away. But while the crowd was wowed, the religious leaders were fuming. They sent the captain of the temple guard to arrest Peter and John and sent them to prison. Preach it to the rats, boys. What's that you said about things going smoothly? God's Holy Spirit is still with us, even here. The next day, a group of religious leaders, including the high priest Annas and his family gathered together. They ordered the guards to bring Peter and John before them. By what power did you do this? And through whose name? Peter didn't hesitate. Rulers and elders, do you want to know why we were kind to a man who couldn't walk? Are you asking how he was healed? Peter gestured to where Ezra was standing, not far off, watching. Ezra did a little two-step. The religious leaders glared. You nailed Jesus Christ of Nazareth to the cross but God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that this man stands healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. If mics had been invented, Peter would have dropped one right there. The leaders glowered and Annas cleared his throat. Leave now and never come back until we call for you. Once Peter and John had been taken out, the leaders grumbled to each other. The nerve. These are common men with no training. So bold. I hate to say it, but... Say what? Well, the way they talk, you can tell they've been with Jesus. <laughs> but what can we do with them? Everyone in Jerusalem knows they performed a miracle. We can't say it didn't happen. This stops here. It stops now. We give them a warning. Never speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Ah, yes, that's it. Peter and John were brought to stand before the religious leaders again. 
You must never speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Yes, or, or, or else. Peter and John exchanged a glance. They knew these leaders had the power to lock them up, or even kill them. Which is right from God's point of view? Should we listen to you? Or should we listen to God? You be the judges. There's nothing else we can do. We have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. Just don't do it! The leaders couldn't find any reason to keep Peter and John in prison. So they finally let them go. Yes! Exploding fist bumps, my bros! Peter and John returned to their friends and shared everything God had done. Through the power of God's spirit, the number of believers had now grown to more than 5,000. Andrew, I must say, you have been on a roll when it comes to these games. You've been winning left and right. I've even heard beating some of the preteens and beating me. You've annihilated me a couple of times. All right, so today I want to see uh, if we can keep this streak alive. I have a game that you've played already, but we made a second version. This is Bible more or less. And so there's different stats, different facts, different things about the Bible. And if you think the thing, like if it says there's 10 dreams, is that more, are there are more dreams in the Bible or are there less dreams in the Bible? You vote, play along at home. Remember to keep score on your hand. See if you can beat Andrew in this rematch version of more or less Bible edition. Let's go. More or less Bible edition of volume two. All right, if we think the answer is more, we do thumbs up. If we think it's less, we do thumbs down. Okay. All right, let's see how if we can. Make. There are 11 dreams recorded in the Bible. I think there's more. I think there's more. More. There's more, 21. All right, that's one, we got one right. The world's largest Bible weighs 10,094 pounds. The Bible is 99.5 inches tall. Less. That's crazy. Less. Two. We got two right. There are 5,969 languages with no scripture. One in five people are waiting for the Bible in their language. I think it's, I think there's more. Less. All right, so we still got two right. Got one wrong. There are at least a hundred songs written down in the Bible. More. There's more. 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 Boom! There's three. All right. Let's see. During 2019, 22 billion highlights, bookmarks, and notes were created on the YouVersion Bible app. Oh, less. Two billion. Four. By 2050, the YouVersion app would like to translate a portion of scripture into every language. Uh, sooner than that. Less. Yeah! We got five. By 2033, oh. I got it. In just 22 minutes per day, you could read the whole Bible in a year. I think it's more. I think it's like 30 minutes. 12 minutes? How about that? All right, we got five. Paul's name appears as the author in 10 books of the New Testament. Uh, more. Yes, there's six. I got it, Dad. There's six. Dad, I got it. The Bible mentions 155 animals. Dogs are mentioned 62 times and cats are mentioned 12 times. More. More. Ah, less. I thought it said less and it said more. You could have kept it. The longest chapter in the Bible is Psalms 109, which has 106 verses. Uh, less. Oh, dang it. That's it. Okay, we ended up with six, right? Yeah. What's up? Oh, look. Look who we just see. saw. Look. Coronacation. It's hey. Pastor Shannon. Man, what a way to end the game. All right, so we will see you guys to tomorrow. Ma to ma oh gosh, to, what am I doing, Liam? I forgot how to do it. Oh, here we go.